All right, I'm about to get started on my bombardment of Algiers puzzle. It's a 9,000 piece puzzle, it's massive. It's not some little wonky puzzle that you're gonna buy at Walmart for your toddlers. This is a big boy puzzle. When it's finished, it'll be about six four by four and a half feet high. So it's pretty much gonna take up most of the wall. Pretty cool. A lot of pieces. So it comes in two separate bags, half and half on the puzzle. I'm just gonna do half at a time on a big sheet of plywood, like a four by eight sheet of plywood. And after I'm finished, I'm gonna get a nice custom frame made. I'm gonna glue the whole thing together. And put it on the wall. Comes with a nice massive poster, by the way. Actually, my frame this for now. It's probably gonna take me about, well, let's say about six months to a year to finish this puzzle because I'm the only one around here that does these <laughs> I have no partner for puzzles most people just aren't into this stuff these days so oh well so I'm gonna do half and then the other half when I finally do finish it and frame it I'll post an update video but uh yeah the bombardment of all jeers it's when the Europeans went down to North Africa to end the slavery of Europeans who were getting taken by the Barbary Pirates. Pretty interesting read and historical information if you want to look that up. A lot of people think that Americans are the only ones that had slavery in the entire world because they just simply don't have a clue that slavery was around pretty much the majority of the world throughout history at some point. So, pretty interesting little historical read and they have some amazing artwork of this. I think they've read about 3,000 European slaves, they signed a treaty and a bunch of stuff like that. Pretty cool though, great artwork, it's gonna look nice on the wall, so I'm gonna get to work and do a little bit each day, each week when I have free time and glue it and frame it. 